City of Antioch code enforcement and cleanup crews came to downtown Antioch today at 3 p.m. Prior to this, they gave 24-hour notice of cleanup to all homeless people in the downtown area. As they approach, local homeless activist and homeless man himself, Mr. Kenny, this is what he had to say. So who was that and what's going on? That was uh, code enforcement. Um, you know, personally, I think a lot of them get a bad rap. You know, because you do have something like that gentleman there. They really are sincere in trying to help. Um, really sincere in saying, you know what, it's okay right here with the guy. And it's not all over the place, so they leave us alone. And there's only a few of them that right got that gentleman there, like I said, me and him, we got a personal relationship with that, you know, he, when he first came into the unit, you know, he was stuck with me, like, you know, I don't want to be a bad guy to you, man, let me know what I can do, mm -hmm. and, you know, you need some bags, you need this, and he did, he, he's actually helped. And what's his name? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to mess it up, uh, Greg, uh, Gary, uh, I'm not for sure, but okay, he, he's a love for man, he's truly one of the their job to harass, to tell someone that uh, actually violating civil rights. You're going to violate my civil rights by telling me I cannot come across the street and stand over on, across the street. I, I, I got to protest that and I got to put him to the point on it. Yes, I can. If I'm not impeding the sidewalk and people can go freely back and forth, how come I can't stand there? You deem this a park. What kind of park is this with no restroom? What kind of park is this with no water faucet? What kind of park with no swing for the kids? But hey, you got a big moving train here with no no garden, you know, no relics, no nothing. It's easy for a kid or infant to chase his ball and not be so engrossed in that and not hear a train. I've seen older people, uh, just people in general, walk the tracks and not hit the train. You know, and I know a gentleman that was hit by the train. You know what? He still left. I mean, the train hit him. Right. And he flew up in the air and came down, and the only injury he had was a head. Yeah. Yeah. I see. You know, and for him to tell us, isn't it against the law to tell us you have and no, and don't have a place for us to go? Right. And if it isn't against the law, it should be a law. Um, it seems that some of these police are doing, it's just 
Send us to Oakley, and here come Pittsburgh. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, all right. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. Thank you. 